Good morning, everybody, from beautiful, rainy Tennessee. We're about to get up out of here. We're packing up. We've been staying here for a little bit, trying to see what was going on. Looked like the country might lock down again to us, and so we hold up for a little bit, see what was going to happen. This is my brother's property in East Tennessee. Now, aren't those trees beautiful? Look at that. So, we were lucky enough to score a, uh, a site over on the uh, east coast of Florida that we've been trying to get for a year, literally a year. We used uh, one of our little hacks that we used in a previous video that we showed you guys. And uh, it's too cold here now. It's 50 degrees and rain in the last three days here. It's ridiculous. It goes down to about 36. Last winter we wintered here. And it was awesome, but I'm not feeling it this year. I want to stay in shorts. So we're rolling out. Of course. All right, so we're all loaded up. 36 degrees this morning. Freezing, but I, I'm going someplace warm, so I left my jacket in the coach. I'm going to Florida. We'll see you when we get there. So we made it to our site. Any guesses where we are? Am I supposed to tell? Are you going to tell? We show them. Okay. That's the beach. The Atlantic Ocean back there. We're at the beach, baby. The beach, baby. Fernandina Beach. Fort Clinch State Park. Oh, yeah. We're checking in and the ranger says to us, Y'all oh, must have been here before. I go, no, we've never been here. Why is that? He says, well, you picked the best site in the park, site 11. Being that we're having a nor'easter tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> so apparently we're having a nor'easter tomorrow. Friday and Saturday, hunker down. He says we're okay though. We got big doom behind us. We'll see. <laughs> Wish us luck. The story of our lives. All right, so after, what, three days of rain and a nor'easter, we finally have the sun out yeah, and blue skies. Yeah, we came in, what, Thursday afternoon to overcast skies, rain Friday and Saturday, and it wasn't until Sunday afternoon yeah, that we, it cleared off. We made a rookie mistake. We never uh, checked the weather before we came. No, we just book. You Couldn't know, book. we wing it. <laughs> yeah. We, we've been through hurricanes, so we're not really worried about a yeah, nor'easter. it was only but. about, what, 40-mile-an-hour wind, so it wasn't too, too bad. So we're going on a trail ride. We'll do a little trail ride and we'll take the dogs on a hikes. Hit the fort. Um, one thing about this place, if you have pets, the campground here, and I'll show you in a minute, it's loaded with sand burrs, so you can't really walk them. So what we've been doing three times a day 
is load them up in a Jeep and take them to the actual trails and walk them on the trails, which they're allowed to go on, and there's no sand burrs on them. No, but and it's they love really it. bad here. They love to get burrs. up in the Jeep and take a ride yeah. and so explore cool. the trail. So it, it's a good way to start the day and a nice way to wrap it up at the end of the day. Yep, so this is our site. So we're back right up to the dunes. The water's right on the other side. That's Cumberland Sound on the other side of the dunes. There's our Maxwell e-bikes ready to ride. We got a grill. Mr. Blackstone here. And this is the loop right here. The bathhouse is bath very house. nice. Yeah, the bathhouse is super clean. There's no sewer here. It's water and 30 amp. So we're roughing it. <laughs> smoothly. <laughs> roughing it smoothly. All right, we'll check back in with you later. Today we're just taking a down day after riding the trails and the beach and we're going to go visit the fort. No worse play on the cannons, honey. <laughs> This is the listed men's barracks. Let me go ahead and check that out. Okay. Oh, that's how they lived.
It's not like carrots being done, it. Well, it's they actually reenact like on Saturday. Yeah, but I'm, it's from the lanterns. That. From the lanterns and stuff, you can smell it. Mm -hmm. It's in the walls. Hey, what are you doing in there? I got it too. <laughs> there they are. There's the water. Hey man. Hey. Are you having some lunch? Whoa. The Amelia Island Lighthouse, standing at the highest point on the island, the Amelia Island Lighthouse was built from bricks reused from the Cumberland Island Lighthouse in 1839 on land purchased from Mary Fernandez. The 67 foot tall lighthouse has walls four feet thick at the base, tapering to two feet at the top. So from what I read online, if you want to come see the lighthouse, you can come on Saturdays between 11 and 2, I believe, which is what we're doing today. Otherwise, you can sign up for a tour where you have to pick up a trolley. And I don't remember the schedule on that, but they have it. If you look it up, yeah, we'll post it down in the comments. And uh, they actually let you go inside on the tours. If you have any questions or comments on the sights and sounds of Amelia Island, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you in our next video.